workout day, which if you've been following us for a while, you know that means it's room tour time. So we stayed at um, Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort um, and we had a preferred room. We stayed over in the Martinique building. And what we noticed was, although this is a Skyliner resort, the Skyliner for Caribbean Beach was very far away from Martinique, even though we're close to um, the main building. So what we did was when we wanted to take the um, Skyliner, we walked to Riviera, which is really, really close. It's just like around the corner. Um, so that's a good option for you if you um, are staying here, you want to use the Skyliner, but you're staying in the Martinique area, you could head over to Riviera. Anyway, enough about that. Let's show you the room. Okay, so we stayed in room 2432. Um, the 24 indicates um, what building we were in. So we were in building number 24, room 32. We were on the very first floor. So you could see right here, it's still dark out because it's very early in the morning. All right, let's head in, shall we? Oh, thank you. Like magic. Stefan's here. <laughs> Welcome. All right, so this was our room. Caribbean Beach is a moderate resort, so um, you might notice that the rooms might be a little bit smaller than um, the deluxe resorts. So over here we have our um, air conditioning heating unit. We were on a corner, so we had um, windows flanking both sides. The thing you should know is that what I've noticed walking around is that everybody can see into your room if you don't have the uh don't have the shades closed so um as you can see there's like a sheer kind of shade back here and then these thicker shades and you could see through the sheer shade so just be careful if you're getting changed in here that you have your shades closed all right enough about the shades jen um we have this little lamp here a table and two rather large chairs, which I assume is for, um, and what I used it for was for your luggage. So um, I put my suitcase on one of the chairs the whole time and just, you know, worked from there. But yeah, so two large chairs, um, a table. We still have our enhanced cleaning going on because of the current times. You get your little uh, take along guide to the magic if you need that. Stefan likes to take it. In this room, we had two uh, beds. We believe they were full size, um, but they may have been queens. If they are, I will put a little um, note at the top here for you to see if they were uh, queen beds. Both beds had a lamp above the top. Also really nice feature, the ceiling fan, um, because the thermostat is um, motion censored. So if you're sleeping and you're not moving, there's not a lot of air going on. So it does keep the air flowing. All right, so then we have this piece here. We have the TV, nice big TV, the coffee counter. So we get a Cuisinart little coffee um, maker here with your Joffrey's coffees, all right here, little like pods um, and everything you would need for that coffee made sugar we have cups for coffee and water ice bucket and the ice slash vending machine area was really close to our room just down the hall they're still cleaning the remotes see cleaned then we have uh six set of six sets of drawers over here um, for storage if you like to unpack and then inside this big guy in the middle is your mini fridge. Over here, we have a large bench style seat. Again, I believe this is for luggage. So you can put your suitcase right here. Some Caribbean art, beautiful. Um, I'll come back around that way in a second. This is your closet area, so you don't necessarily get like a 
armoire type deal but um you do ha still have closet space available so um you have your hangers here to hang up your you know more formal wear um an ironing board just behind here is the iron a safe so you could fit maybe like an ipad or um a thin relatively small um computer extra pillow and blanket if you need it Here is the large vanity area, a really nice big mirror, hello, double vanity, okay. um, some storage down here, towels and, you know, extra things down here. This is your hair dryer right below, um, but no additional like drawers and things like that for storage here. And then um, we also have our little makeup mirror here. Hello. Um, and then there's a full length mirror right before you go into the bathroom. Whoop. So that's helpful for getting ready. Also inside the bathroom, um, there's the rack for all of your towels. So you'll see them all here um, before you uh, take your shower. All right, so toilet shower shower with tub so if you have little ones you can definitely take a bath in here we have the squeeze bottles that come with the h2o um products if you like that the little drying rack it was not a waterfall um a waterfall shower head but that's okay it was actually a really nice shower. Let me show you what the uh, shower curtain looked like. It's really pretty. Okay. All right, and then, just like in uh, the Cor oops, Coronado Springs Resort, um, the bathroom area has like these double doors that you can close to separate uh, the bathroom from the rest of the room. So in case you're getting ready, and your family is still sleeping, you have that. Just as you noticed, I slammed the doors. They're a little hard to control. So just be careful if your family is sleeping. I already slammed it like three times today, so that was good. We have the thermostat over here, like I said. It's motion activated, as you can see right here. So um, in the middle of the night, it can get a little warm, but luckily we do have that ceiling fan, and it's pretty easy to adjust um, the temperature and things like that. Um, it's really close to the bed, so if you don't even want to get out of bed and you just want to reach your arm over, it's really convenient. And then just real quick, back over here in between the beds, have your telephone, light switches, um, your charging ports. What I noticed, though, was that the USB ports, although here, did not work. So just keep that in mind. Um, you know, you have a little bit of storage in here and below. Um, also, the beds are not raised, so you cannot store your luggage below. And as you can see, they're kind of blocked down below. But that's why it's kind of nice to have, you know, your bench here and the larger chairs to put your luggage. Hey. Also, this was a um, adjoining or connecting room. So um, if you are coming with a large group, you can request this room and the room next door, which I believe was 2331, and you would have a connecting room. There's also a nice little coat rack here or whatever. You could hang your wet ponchos or whatever you need. Um, also, one other thing. This might be, I don't know, TMI. But if you're coming back from a rainstorm or something like that, there is this nice shelf above your heating or cooling unit and you can rest your wet items there and um hope you know we notice that they do dry overnight when you do that so that's kind of helpful um i don't know if there's anything else to say but i'll give you one more look around um Stephen keeps trying to hide hi uh, and pose and pose hey i'm just sitting here <laughs> Um, so overall, we really liked um, this room. We liked the resort. We would stay here again. Like I said, the Skyliner was really convenient. 
Um, we were really close to the main building for breakfast or coffee or whatever you needed there. They just did a huge refurb of the Port Royal area, um, so it's beautiful. But I feel like the rooms could use a bit of a refurb as well. Um, we had stayed here in 2016. That was the last time we were here. And the rooms are the same. The rooms are the same. So I think they're probably on their way to being uh, refurbed because um, all of the newer resorts or all of the refurbs are getting like the wood floors and things like that. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if Caribbean Beach comes up as like the next resort for a refurb. But not that it's bad. I think it was really cute. Um, and we were very comfortable here. So, um, you know, not a huge ding or anything like that. But just keep that in mind that this might be coming up for a refurb eventually um, to get more of that updated style that we're seeing at like Pop Century and other resorts. Well, thanks for watching our little room tour. If you have any questions about staying at Caribbean Beach, feel free to leave um, any questions in the comments down below. Um, if you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel if you want to see more of our adventures together. Um, anything else? Uh, no, yeah if, you, yeah, if you have stayed at this resort and uh, you notice anything different, um, you know, drop a comment and we'll, we'll check it out. All right. Well, until next time, thanks for watching and keep, keep on, on wishing. wishing.